Aloha friends, it is me again. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start of the weekend. I wanted to share you guys my Hawaiian barbecue marinade um, recipe. And what I have is um, I have some, I have a steak that hubby loves steak. So I'm going to use um, one packet of steak. And I actually opened this up last week. I don't know why but um, I only needed a couple of them for a recipe so I'm gonna go ahead and um, use this up as well some chicken wings and then some uh, chicken tenderloins and they're still a bit frozen so I'm gonna let it thaw for maybe another two hours or so until it gets a little bit soft and then I'm gonna add it into a Ziploc bag and marinate it overnight Okay, and this is a Hawaiian chicken marinade, but it actually works really well too for steaks. So what I'm going to do is um, I added already um, half a cup of water, only because to me, I don't like, it's, since it's um, marinating overnight or for almost 24 hours, I do not want it to become too salty, so I'm adding a little bit of water. The recipe does not call for that. It's just my um, my personal choice. But however, what the recipe calls for is a cup of soy sauce, a cup of uh, pineapple juice, and a cup of brown sugar, and about three, I think three or four cloves of garlic, and then a tablespoon of uh, minced ginger. So that's what the actually re um, actual recipe calls for. But since hubby and I love spicy, I'm going to add in a little bit of crushed red pepper and then a little bit of regular black pepper. Okay, so let me go ahead and gather everything up and then I'll show you guys the process. The recipe says that um, to put the pineapple juice and the soy sauce and the brown sugar into a bowl and basically mix it all together until the brown sugar is dissolved and since I have a lot of meat I doubled the recipe just making sure all that brown sugar is dissolved this is really tasty so I did this um, last week and it actually really um, tenderizes the meat it's a copycat of L&L barbecue recipe. Really, really delicious. I I do recommend this for um, Hawaiian taste. Um, um, the family enjoyed it. So that's all dissolved. I'm going to go ahead and cr um, use my garlic crusher for the garlic and also use, um, what do you call these again? For, for my um, minced garlic. I mean minced ginger, okay? Everything is in here, um, blended it up, and then I did forget to tell you guys one ingredient, and that is um, very thinly sliced um, yellow onions. The recipe did call for that as well. And I think the recipe said like a small, small onion, thinly sliced, and I just eyeball it. I think that um, onion acts uh, also another ingredient for a tenderizer. And that's it. So I'm, I'm going to wait for my chicken to thaw out. I'm going to put it back into the fridge. And once it thaws out, I'm going to put it into the big um, freezer bags and separate it. And um, for the kids, leave it as it is. And then for me and hubby, I'm going to go ahead and add the, um, the crushed red pepper and also extra black pepper. Went ahead and placed everything into my Ziploc. I put the chickens in one, make sure that's air tight. The other one into the the beef into another Ziploc bag just to separate it. And I think the best way to uh, marinate meat um, or anything grilling, you know, barbecue wise, is um, to put them in these big Ziploc bags because you're not wasting a lot of the, um, the marinades. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had enough because as you can see, I have a lot of meat. But by placing it in a Ziploc bag, you're able to um, 
to control it a bit more rather than if it was in a um, uh, like a Tupperware or a ceramic pan to where you gotta go in there and stir it up every couple of hours. This way all you gotta do is just shake it up and then also see how it plans and there's there's not even a lot of marinade in there but since it plans up then um, all the juices are able to get into the every part of the, the meat. But I cannot wait to grill this tomorrow morning before I pick up hubby at the airport so we can have some homemade l l Hawaiian barbecue. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, tutorial. Try it out. It is really um, absolutely delicious. I've had it before, done this recipe, so I've actually already memorized the recipe um, by heart. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Mahalo, everyone. Have a great weekend. Like that?